say I've been away dealing with a lot of farm stuff, family stuff. Uh, also, I had a cousin that died recently, car wreck. Grandma was very distraught. in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but you can read it in the, in, in the Gospels there. Um, you know, be able to check it. But, you know, after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, you know, graves end up opening. And people come out of these graves and they walk into Jerusalem. Okay, a bunch of dead people rise from the dead and walk into town. And what I always thought bizarre is that like there's no mention of that in the book of Acts, but you can read it in the Gospels. Okay. Now, what exactly have I been thinking about lately? I've been thinking about how, you know, when you get to the book of Acts and the day of Pentecost, you know, and the apostles start preaching to the to the crowd and, and telling people about Jesus and, and how he was the, he was the Messiah, and you know, Israel as a whole rejected him, right? But I think about in Luke where Jesus tells a story about uh, Lazarus and the. And the rich man, right? And you know, Lazarus goes to paradise and is comforted by Abraham. You know, it says he goes into Abraham's bosom, but I read that as literally he gets embraced by Abraham in his chest, like Abraham gives him like a big hug. To me, calling paradise literally Abraham's bosom is kind of weird and confusing. Because also, why would you call paradise Abraham's bosom if uh, if people got saved before Abraham? So that kind of doesn't make sense. So I literally, when I read that, you know, he goes to paradise, but he's, you know, he gets embraced by Abraham, basically. He gets comforted, but, you know, and greeted by Abraham. But, uh... Yeah, and then there's that there's that there's that golf and the rich man's in, in hell and um, you know he's being tormented by the flames and then he's begging for you know somebody to go and warn his family right about hell and then he's told that you know if people don't believe the prophets that they're not going to believe if somebody rises from the dead. And then I think about what happened in, in Israel. You know? After Jesus was crucified, people literally rose from the dead and walked into Jerusalem. And, you know, who knows all the stuff they said, but uh, the point is, when you get to the beginning of the book of Acts, there's a bunch of people, like, you know, in unbelief, <laughs> you know, and and the, 
of the Pharisees and stuff, they're, they're still trying to persecute the disciples. And it's like, yeah, the Pharisees did not believe the prophets. So then when, so when people literally came back from the dead, they didn't believe them either. And, you know, most of the Pharisees didn't ended up not believing on Christ. I mean, obviously there's, there was exceptions like Nicodemus and Paul. But, uh, but I, I, don't know, I just think that's amazing, you know. <laughs> how you read that in Luke about how if they don't believe the prophets, they're not going to believe somebody coming back from the dead. <laughs> and then later on in the, in the Bible, people come up from graves and walk into town and people still don't believe. And then, you know, people still also reject the resurrection of, of, Christ, like, uh, of Christ himself. Uh, I think that's wild, you know. Anyways, that was my little thought for today. Or at least this morning. Take care. <laughs> what do you guys think? Put something in the comments.